What's going on, Sheepdog? Stress here, 221B Tactical. Today we are going over body armor. I'm going to go over three different kinds of body armor, explain the pros and cons of each one, how they help protect you, so you can make a better, more informed decision before you purchase the body armor you're looking for. We're doing this video because recently we've been inundated with phone calls and emails from customers across the country that are looking to get some body armor to protect themselves and their family members and loved ones. But most of the people calling don't have a law enforcement background. They're, they've never been in the military before, so they really don't know anything about body armor. So we have to do a lot of explaining so they can make an educated decision before buying. So a few people said, hey, that'd be great if you had a video that we could watch to go over all of this. So for those people, uh, who don't know anything about body armor, this video is for you. If you've never purchased body armor before, uh, you're not sure what to get, watch this video because this is going to answer a lot of questions for you. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with soft body armor. Now this is the armor that you see most police officers wearing, uh, whether it's on the outside of their uniform or it's concealed under their uniform shirt in a vest carrier like this. It's soft, it's flexible, it's pretty lightweight, and um, it is, it's actually a, a lot nicer to wear than a lot of these outer plate carriers uh, that we're gonna get into momentarily when we go into the different kind of plates. But this soft armor uh, here is a level 3A panel. Now there's different levels, and you can go to the NIJ website to tell you the different levels of body armor. So uh, this is NIJ certified. One of the things you want to look for before buying uh, any kind of armor is make sure it meets the NIJ certification standards. Okay, they're, they're the uh, foremost authority on testing body armor. So you want to check that out. Plenty of information at their site. So this is NIJ level 3A. Now level 3A is the level of the armor to stop the kind of rounds uh, that are particular rounds. So um, this soft armor is going to stop uh, handgun rounds that are the smaller rounds like this. Now, this is a nine millimeter round, um, commonly shot out of handguns, which you'll see now I have an unloaded uh, safe handgun here. Back, uh, slides back and it's completely empty. There's no ammunition in it. So, when you're looking to protect yourself against handgun ammunition, now we're talking about nine millimeter, 40, 45, 44 Magnum, all shot from a handgun, that's when you're gonna be looking at soft armor panels. And like I said, you're looking at a bullet that looks a little bit like this. Of course, they range uh, in size as you go through the ballistic ranges. I'm not gonna get into that. Once again, I'm keeping this video very low level uh, very entry level because most of the people calling once again don't have any background in law enforcement or military So this is very very basic if you're a tactical ninja. That's awesome. This video is probably not for you So I'm gonna keep going so now you have uh, this panel like I said It's gonna stop those handgun rounds 9 millimeter uh, 40 45 44 magnum and you can look up those rounds to see the difference in sizes as well I'll maybe try to even post a photo uh, in this video to uh, let you know what the differences are. So this is gonna help take care of that. Like I said, most of the vests that police officers wear are level three A soft armor. Uh, so we also sell these panels for backpacks. Uh, Some time back when school shootings were uh, happening across the country and they were in the news, we had a lot of parents uh, email us and call us about getting these panels in the backpacks of their children. Um, they wanted some kind of protection for their children, anything, and it was lightweight, flexible, easy to just slide into a backpack and give their children some kind of baseline protection. Now, uh, in New York City, where we're located in cities across the country, we have people flooding us with emails and requests for this kind of armor for their purses, for their briefcases, for their uh, backpacks, adults, not just children because they want to have that little bit of protection in the bag they're carrying. God forbid something happened uh, with all this craziness going on with the riots and uh, all that. So that is level three, a soft armor. Now, 
a plate like this, uh, which is going to be, this is a 10 by 12 plate um, or panel, if you would, a panel, um, is roughly $110 or so. It should be in that range. And this is made in the USA. None of our armor is made in China. It's all made in the USA. So made in the USA, 10 by 12. You're looking at about uh, about a, between the $110 to $120 range. That's what you should be paying for good made in the USA armor. Anything way above that for this size panel, uh, you might wanna take a look at somewhere else because that's the range it should be in. So next, we're gonna go to steel plate body armor. Steel body armor is meant to stop rifle rounds. So uh, once again, you see the size is the same, 10 by 12, which is the most common size people are purchasing. And uh, that's gonna stop a rifle round. Now this round, as you can see, compared to the uh, handgun round, is a lot longer. Uh, the uh, actual ballistic projectile is a bit pointier, um, and it's coming out of a barrel that is much longer than your uh, regular uh, handgun. So this is uh, 223 or 556, and you can look that up, and I'll put a little link uh, below to tell you about the different bullets. But this is the bullet that is most often sh shot out of uh, the AR-15, the AR-15 type rifle that most of you who are watching this video have probably seen, heard in the news, things like that. And that is something that looks like this. You'll see the barrel is a lot longer and it has the ability to send that bullet projectile out at a much higher velocity. That means that the bullet coming out of that gun and that is going a lot faster than this bullet has the ability to penetrate this soft armor. So that is why if your concern is these kind of bullets from rifles, from an AR-15 uh, type rifle or any other kind of bigger rifle, you wanna go to a plate which is either gonna be steel or composite. So I'm gonna start with the steel. The steel plate here uh, is heavy. This plate here weighs about uh, almost eight pounds, a little, a little over seven and a half pounds. So it is a lot of weight. And if you're gonna be wearing two of these, one in the front, one in the back, you're looking at a lot of weight. I mean, if you're not fit, it's gonna be very heavy. If you're gonna be putting this on a child, that's never worn anything like this before, it's gonna be very heavy, it's gonna be very uncomfortable. You would use a plate like this in uh, what's called a plate carrier. Now, you've probably seen SWAT teams or military wearing plate carriers. This is our plate, one of our, one of our plate carriers, our shadow plate carrier, and these plates go inside. There's little pockets uh, on the bottom side here where you could actually just slide that plate in, and you could put one in the front, and you can put one in the back so you have that protection. Now, a lot of people, when they see these plate carriers and they see this plate, they're like, well, that doesn't cover your stomach or, you know, your lower part of your belly. These plates are designed to cover your vital organs right in this area right here. So, yeah, it's not going to be all the way down to your belt buckle and it's not going to be all the way up on your shoulders. If the plate was that big, you're talking about like having armor on like a knight and it's going to weigh like 20 pounds a panel. So uh, this is meant to protect vital organs. That's it. And that's why this plate carrier holds those plates um, in where they're supposed to be to protect those vital organs. I do a separate video uh, on how plate carriers should be worn. So if you want to go with steel plates like this, because your concern is the rounds from a rifle or an AR-15 type rifle, this is what you want to get but you're gonna also not only buy these plates, but you're also gonna to have to get a plate carrier with it. Whereas the soft armor plate, you could put this in a plate carrier as well, or you could put it into a bag or something like that. You can buy soft armor carrier vests like the police, or if you want the hard plates, you get the plate carrier to carry these plates. Uh, a lot of people actually double up and they put the steel plate and they actually buy a set of the soft plates almost they call it a trauma pad 
Okay, so um, trauma pads are a cushioning pad for the layman's terms that you wear behind the steel. So when that high velocity round hits the steel, the trauma or that impact that may come, not come through the back, but kind of pop out the back a little bit, the bullet won't go through. You have some padding and some protection there. Some people buy an actual trauma pad, but some people just buy a level 3A uh, piece of armor to go behind it just so they have that added level of protection. Now, one thing that you want to be mindful of is that, uh, and some people ask this because they don't know, and it's, it's a silly question to a lot of people, but it, it's not a silly question to us because we, you know, people don't know. They say, will the smaller handgun round, uh, will this be able to stop it? And yes, the answer is yes, of course. Uh, this is going to be able to stop those AR-15 rounds, and it's also going to be able to stop these 9 millimeter 40, 45, 44 Magnum uh, very easily. The steel is going to be able to stop that. You don't need to have the soft plate behind the hard plate. That's totally up to you. But we do see many people choosing that option because of the velocity that these rounds could possibly come at them at. So um, pricing. A plate like this in 10 by 12, which is what you're seeing here, uh, this is an AR550 uh, steel plate. It's on our website. Uh, this plate for one plate is going to be roughly 110 to 120. So you might be thinking to yourself, wow, that is the same price almost as the soft armor plate that doesn't stop the rifle rounds, only stops the handgun rounds. And you're right, they are similarly priced. Um, they just do different things. So really it's a matter of personal preference. Um, and also what you're looking to stop if, you know, if rifle rounds uh, are not your concern and you think that you could, uh, you're only going to be ever dealing with handgun rounds, then I would suggest that you just get the soft plates. The next plate we're going to is the composite plate. So this is a ceramic composite plate designed to stop the rifle rounds as well. Of course, once again, it will stop the handgun rounds, the smaller rounds, but it's also designed to stop these rifle rounds coming out of those long rifles, AR-15s. Now, what's the difference between this and the steel uh, here? So your main difference is that this is considerably lighter. So you have a plate here that is under five pounds, where you have a plate here that's nearly eight pounds. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when you're wearing it on your body for an extended period of time, you could really feel the difference. And if I handed you this plate, and I handed, you probably see me struggling to lift this plate up, and this plate is pretty, pretty easy to move around. So uh, you're looking at around, like I said, around a five pound plate. Now on the ceramic composite plate, you'll also notice that it's thicker. So I'm gonna turn these sideways here, and you could probably see just how much thicker. So you're looking at pro easily twice as thick on the ceramic composite plate compared to the steel plate. So when you're looking at a plate carrier, you wanna make sure the plate carrier can accommodate the thickness of this ceramic composite plate. Now, the other thing that um, you wanna uh, be mindful of is the stopping power. So with the steel plate, you have the ability to take multiple rounds, meaning you could take multiple bullets to this plate and it's gonna maintain its integrity. Um, you don't wanna get hit multiple times by an AR-15 uh, or a rifle round, two, two, three, five, five, six. You wanna avoid that at all costs, of course, but in the event that you are taking multiple rounds, you could have a, a pretty good amount of confidence that this steel plate is going to stop those multiple rounds. Now, the ceramic composite plate, um, it's getting so heavy, I'm having a hard, hard time holding it. Um, the ceramic composite plate will take multiple rounds. However, you are gonna run into a problem uh, in with two things. If you take a round to the same exact spot simultaneously, or just, you know, happens to be in the same exact spot, you're going to have a problem because the integrity of the material is going to break down. The other thing that you want to be mindful of with the ceramic composite plate is that it can only take a certain number of rounds before the integrity of the entire plate starts breaking down. What that is, is different for every plate in every scenario. 
Uh, some people say seven shots. Some people say six shots. Uh, you got to look at the manufacturer that you're buying your armor from. Look at their test data and see at what point the armor started breaking down and started failing and the rounds started going through. That's very important for you to look at, so do your research. Uh, all our data is up on our website as well as the Spartan Armor uh, website. So something else to consider. Um, you're, get, you're saving weight, but when it comes to multiple rounds, you're losing a little bit of security, if you would. Now, people ask about the price. So we said the price for the steel plate, which I'm gonna try to bring back up here and hold, um, is uh, roughly about 120. This plate for one is roughly 320. Yes, $320 for one plate. So many people are of course buying these as a pair and they're buying them uh, front and back to put in their plate carrier. So you're looking at $600 plus, almost $650 for a set of these plates. Why do people go with these plates? Well, they're lighter. Um, and people don't want to carry that weight around. So most people don't plan on getting shot multiple times. Uh, so they're not too concerned about that. They're really saying, hey, if I, if I get hit once or twice, at least I'll be moving, I'll get out of there. And if I'm gonna be wearing this plate carrier for an extended period of time, at least I'll be comfortable. Many police agencies, SWAT teams, things like that are going to the ceramic uh, plate now because of the weight savings and because of the extra mobility that you have as an officer, opposed to these heavy steel plates, which can get cumbersome and after wearing them for a while, uh, can get very uncomfortable. So that's the difference uh, with, with that. So you don't have to worry about the stopping power per se on either of these plates because both are gonna stop the rounds and do a good job of that. You really, uh, when people say, well, what are we paying for? when it comes to the difference in price, uh, you're paying for weight. You're 100% you're paying for weight, that's the biggest thing. If the extra $200 is not a, a big deal to you and you can swing it, you can afford it, I would recommend you go with the ceramic composite plates. Uh, you're, ne you're never gonna regret that decision. Um, however, if money's tight, which it is for many of us, you wanna get some baseline protection, you wanna get something to have in your hands, uh, that's too much money. Well then for a little over 400 bucks, you can get two steel plates and our plate carrier set up here. Uh, so this plate carrier with two steel plates, you're gonna get that for a little over 400 bucks, which is a great deal. Under 500 bucks, you have a full kit set up uh, for you. And if you need to get one for a family member, your spouse, um, if people have been getting these for their children, believe it or not. Um, it, which is incredible. So they're going with the smaller plate, so they're lighter, but they're getting it for their children as well because uh, people are just scared. They're concerned about what's going on here in the country today. So uh, I hope that gives you a good idea of the kinds of body armor available to you and what is available for the different threats that might be a concern to you. Um, I'm going to try to put a couple of links below this video uh, to some information about NIJ. That's the authority for the testing of uh, the uh, body armor panels. And I'm also going to put some information uh, to the ballistics, uh, maybe a couple of images and ballistics for the different kinds of rounds. But once again, really low level video for a lot of the beginners out there who are just buying body armor. They're seeing what's going on in our country. Uh, and they're scared, they're nervous, they don't, they don't know, they, this, is, this is all new to them. They just bought a gun and they don't even know how to shoot the thing, they don't even know how to load the thing, they just wanna get a gun to protect their family in their house. And although I understand that move, I always tell people, if you're gonna take the time and spend the money to buy the gun, make sure you take the time and spend the money to get the training and actually go to a range, hire an instructor, don't try to YouTube it. Um, with body armor, trying to give you them as much education as possible. It, it's not an easy decision, but you just got to take a look at what you're concerned about. Are you concerned about bullets coming out of a pistol or are you concerned about bullets coming out of a rifle? That, it, that's the main thing you need to know. And then from there you go, it's really a decision on price. How much do you want to spend uh, for your level of comfort? So 
Uh, I hope this answered some questions for you. Uh, if you have any other questions about anything you saw here today, uh, go ahead and give us uh, an email, send us an email. Our email to our sales team is sales at 221btactical.com. Our sales team is there 24 seven around the clock to answer your questions. And I say this and I say this sincerely and I say this wholeheartedly, there are no stupid questions. Uh, we have a team that's comprised of prior law enforcement, we have some prior military, but we also have just regular old civilians that have never been in law enforcement, never been in military, and they are there. They came in and they didn't have the knowledge, uh, just like many of you watching this video may not have had the knowledge. And they're there, they came in, they learned, and now they're there to educate you. Their moms, their dads, uh, their you know, little league coaches, they're just regular people that want to protect their family and they want to gain, help you gain knowledge about this crazy time we're going through to help give you a little bit of security. So don't be afraid to call. Uh, don't be embarrassed to email uh, any of your questions. There's nothing to be ashamed about. Call, ask questions. There's no foolish questions here. And uh, we'll give you all the information that we can about this body armor that we carry. And even if you have questions, you see something that we don't have that maybe you saw on the internet somewhere, give us a call, give us a call. Our team, if we can answer it for you, we will answer that question for you uh, as well. So thanks for watching. Share this video if you feel that it's gonna be valuable to someone you know, someone in your life, maybe a family member, a neighbor, a coworker. Go ahead and share this video. And uh, once again, ask them if they have any questions or concerns about what's going on right now and protecting their family. Tell them to email us as well or give us a call. We love hearing your voices on the phone. It's actually, it's actually a, a beautiful thing when people actually pick up the phone and call and say, I have a question about body armor. Uh, our team loves talking to you guys as well. So thanks for watching again. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you found this video valuable, check out some of my other videos. I'm gonna be putting out more content as the days go on. I wanna say this. This is something that uh, I never really thought uh, I would be doing, um, explaining body armor to civilians. Um, it's crazy that we're at a point in time in our country where good people, regular people, normal people, everyday people are buying, they're, they're taking their money and instead of putting it toward their children or their homes, or maybe you know putting it toward uh, car repairs, they're putting it toward buying bullet resistant armor for their family, for their kids. Uh, and it, it's crazy that we're in that time right now. However, the times hopefully will change, but until they change, your obligation is to protect yourself and to protect your family. Survival trumps everything. So we recognize that. So this is something that we're trying to help you out and we're trying to give you the knowledge that you need. And um, we hope that this time passes just as much as you hope this time passes. But we also know that we want you to be ready and prepared should something happen to your family, to your loved ones, someone comes to your property, into your home, we want you to be prepared. Um, better, better have it and not need it than you know need it and not have it. So um, that's where we stand on that. And I just wanted to put that out there. So thank you again for watching. Share the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and let me know what else you have questions about. If you have something uh, else in this you know personal protection space that you want answered, you have a question about, even if it's something that doesn't really pertain to you know, what we sell, go ahead and send us an email or comment below and I'll try to do a video on it accordingly. So thanks for watching and uh, until next time, we'll see you, be safe.